so the day is finally here we found some emu chicks for sale uh, they're all the way in Austin Texas and we're driving from Springfield Missouri so it's gonna be quite a trip for us uh, about 10 hours um, but it's worth it so we'll take you on the trip with us got our little side peek in the back let's hope he enjoys the trip So it's about 12 in the morning, we finally made it to our hotel. Uh, we came and saw our emus at about 7 p.m. but we were just driving around grabbing some food to eat and we had to go to Walmart and buy some more boxes for the birds because um, we underestimated the size of two of the birds that we're getting. They're much bigger than we thought so we need to buy uh, separate boxes for them. So we're gonna go in, eat some food, go to sleep and we have to be up at 6 in the morning because we have to go pick up our birds at 6.30. So. so this is what our trunk looks like. We got different boxes for the different size birds. We're also getting Rhea birds and they also need a separate I'm just gonna do box. This. And then when we open it, they're not gonna like jump out, you know? Yeah, we're worried about them jumping out when we open the trunk to check in on them. So hopefully the cardboard prevents that from happening. So we're already driving home and we finally got our birds in the car with us. It's kind of hard to believe still. Uh, we ended up getting four Rias and four Emu uh, chicks. We have the babies in the back with us. bigger emus and oh yeah three bigger emus in uh in the trunk and we're checking up on them we have a thermometer in the trunk and we have a and we have a little thing right here where we can keep up um we can check up on the temperature to see if they're not too hot or too cold but they're bigger guys so it's a bit on the colder side it's 16 celsius but really need the heat make sure that they're not going to be too hot and suffocating. Right? Yeah, and we're in Texas right now and it is on the warmer side, but they're doing well so far. And the babies are doing well too, so... We're going to stop once in a while and open the trunk up, get them some fresh air and check up on them. And we bought some lettuce in case they want a snack. <laughs> but I doubt that they will eat or drink anything until we get home. But yeah, this is very exciting. We can't wait to show them to all our family. They're very interested.
next morning we're already home we got home yesterday night around 12 a.m it was very late so we brought our birds inside the house so they're warm uh the little ones got a heat lamp because they still need it and the bigger ones don't need one so they're just sitting in the box and today we're gonna put them in their brooder boxes so they're gonna be nice and set and i'll show you what they're in right now and how they're doing so these are the little ones these are the rias and then this is the emu and then that bigger one is the emu they're doing good we gave them food water well doesn't look the best right now but they're doing fine and then the two bigger ones are doing well cute little guys got this quick brooder set up for the baby emus i got some carpet on the bottom for them so they don't slip and uh, I took our chicken tractor that we used last summer it has the chicken wire on it and I just temporarily put some cardboard all the way around it so it retains heat and then it has this plywood cover that goes on top and of course I'm gonna put heat lamps here for them and this is and this is inside of a shed so they're gonna stay nice and warm in here so this is gonna be a temporary setup for the two bigger guys two bigger emus also carpet on the floor um i'm gonna put a heat lamp for them as well even though they're pretty big but it's still pretty cold at night here it gets down to low 40s and a few days will be uh, mid 30s so uh, they're gonna have to be inside the shed for now and uh, but I also made this that it comes off like this and I can let them out when it's gonna be warm out but for now they're gonna be in here and the little guys right next to them I got the heat lamps going right now I think two heat lamps should be plenty for them so yeah I think they're gonna love it So there they are in their new home. Now they actually have some space to run around. I'll go get the big guys now. 
put them in this enclosure right here. And there's the big guys. You can see the difference in their size right there. Um, this is how I set up their feeders. Feeder and drinking drinker right next to it. Um, same thing for these guys, just not as high, so they can reach. We're gonna have to work on them a little bit to tame them. Right now they're tiny. And they won't even let me pet them. These guys are a little easier most of the time. So that's it for this video, but we will be making more videos about our farm and our birds, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching. Bye.